Did you know that in 2022, nearly 90% of taxpayers chose the standard deduction over itemizing? But is it always the best choice for you? The answer lies in understanding the key differences between these two options. In this video, we'll explain the difference between standard deduction and itemized deductions. Let's get started. Standard deduction. Standard deduction is a fixed amount that taxpayers can subtract from their income before calculating the tax they owe. It's like a discount on your taxable income. The great thing about the standard deduction is that it's super easy to use. You don't need to keep track of all your expenses or receipts. For example, in 2023, if you're a single filer, the standard deduction is $12,950. This means if you earned $50,000 in a year, you only get taxed on $37,050 of it. $50,000 minus $12,950 equals $37,050. It simplifies your tax filing because you just take this set amount off your income, no questions asked. It's a popular choice for many because it's straightforward and saves time. Plus, for most people, this option gives a decent reduction in their taxable income, making their tax calculations a lot simpler. Who is eligible for standard deduction? The standard deduction is available to most taxpayers. If you're filing your taxes, you're likely eligible for it. This includes different types of filers, single individuals, married couples filing jointly, and even those who are retired. However, there are a few exceptions. One. If you are claimed as a dependent on someone else's tax return, your standard deduction might be lower. Two, married couples who file separately need to coordinate their deductions. If one itemizes, the other cannot claim the standard deduction. Three, non-resident aliens and those with unique tax situations, like a change in their annual accounting period, have specific rules. Simply put, the standard deduction is a straightforward option for most people filing their taxes. Advantages. The standard deduction is like a shortcut when doing your taxes. It's super easy and saves you a lot of time. Here's why. One, simple to use. You don't need to be a math wizard or a tax expert. The standard deduction is a fixed amount. You just subtract it from your income and voila, you've got your taxable income figured out. Two, no receipts needed. Forget about keeping every little receipt or tracking all your expenses throughout the year. The standard deduction means you can skip all that paperwork. Three, saves time. Since you're not digging through a pile of receipts or filling out extra forms for every deduction, you finish your taxes much faster. It's a real time saver, especially if you're busy or don't like dealing with lots of details. Four, less stress. With the standard deduction, tax time becomes less of a headache. You don't have to worry about missing out on deductions because you forgot to keep a receipt or weren't sure if something counted. In short, the standard deduction makes your tax life a lot simpler and quicker. It's a hassle-free way to reduce your taxable income and get your taxes done without the fuss. Limitations. The standard deduction is super handy, but it's not always the best choice for everyone. Here's when you might think twice about using it. One, big expenses. If you had a lot of certain expenses in the year, like huge medical bills, big mortgage interest payments, or donated a lot to charity, adding these up might give you a bigger deduction than the standard amount. Two, homeowners. Owning a home can mean lots of deductible expenses, like property taxes and mortgage interest. If these add up to more than the standard deduction, itemizing can save you more on taxes. Three, state and local taxes. If you paid a lot in state and local taxes, these can be deducted too, but only if you're itemizing. Four, unusual situations. Sometimes life throws you a curveball, like a big unexpected loss from theft or disaster that insurance didn't fully cover. These losses can be deductible. Itemized deductions. Itemized deductions are a bit like using coupons to lower your tax bill. Instead of using the one big coupon that is the standard deduction, you add up all the smaller tax coupons you've collected throughout the year. Each of these smaller coupons represents an expense you can deduct from your income. For example, let's say in a year you paid $5,000 in state taxes, donated $2,000 to charity, and had $3,000 in medical expenses. Altogether, these add up to $10,000. 
If the standard deduction for you is $12,950, then itemizing doesn't make sense. But if you had more deductible expenses, like another $4,000 in mortgage interest, bringing your total to $14,000. Itemizing would be better because $14,000 is more than the $12,950 standard deduction. The process of itemizing deductions. Itemizing deductions is like making a detailed list of specific expenses you can subtract from your income to lower your taxes. Here's how you do it. One, collect receipts and records. Throughout the year, Keep all receipts and records of expenses that can be deducted. This includes things like charity donations, medical bills, property taxes, and mortgage interest. It's like keeping all your shopping receipts to return something later. You need proof of what you spent. Two, add up your expenses. At the end of the year, sit down with all your receipts and add up the amounts. Each type of expense gets added up separately. It's a bit like totaling up your shopping list to see how much you spent on groceries, clothes, etc. Three, fill out the right forms. When you do your taxes, you'll need to fill out a special form for itemized deductions, like Schedule A for IRS Form 1040 in the US. This form has different sections where you'll enter the totals for each type of expense. Four, compare with standard deduction. After adding up all your itemized deductions, Compare this total with the standard deduction amount. If your itemized total is higher, then you use that to calculate your taxable income. If it's lower, you're better off sticking with the standard deduction. Five, file your taxes. Include your itemized deductions form with your tax return. Make sure you keep copies of all your documents and receipts, just in case the tax authorities want to check them later. Advantages. Itemized deductions can be like a treasure hunt on your tax return, where you might find more savings than with the standard deduction. Here's why they can be great. One, more savings. If you spent a lot on things like medical bills, state taxes, mortgage interest, or charity donations, adding these up could give you a bigger deduction than the standard one. It's like finding extra money you didn't know you had. Two, customized to your spending. Everyone spends money differently. Itemized deductions let you tailor your tax deductions to your actual expenses. If you had a year with high medical costs or made generous donations to charity, itemizing lets you use these expenses to lower your taxes. Three, beneficial for homeowners. Owning a home usually comes with expenses like property taxes and mortgage interest. These can be big enough to make itemizing worthwhile, offering more savings than the standard deduction. Four, makes certain losses count. If you had unfortunate events like theft or disaster losses not covered by insurance, itemizing allows you to deduct these losses, helping to soften the financial impact. Limitations. Itemized deductions can be like putting together a big puzzle. They can save you money on taxes, but they also come with some challenges. Here's why itemizing can be a bit tricky. One, time consuming. Keeping track of every receipt and record throughout the year is like keeping a detailed diary of your spending. It takes time and effort to organize and add up all these expenses. Two, requires good record keeping. You need to be like a librarian with your receipts and records. Everything needs to be saved and filed from medical bills to charity donation slips. If you're not naturally organized, this can be a bit overwhelming. Three, more complicated tax forms. When you itemize, your tax return gets more complex. Instead of just filling in a few numbers, you'll have to work through additional forms, like Schedule A if you're in the US. This can be daunting if you're not familiar with tax forms. Four, potential for errors. With more numbers to crunch and forms to fill, there's a higher chance of making a mistake. An error can lead to a bigger tax bill or even an audit, which is like a big stressful test of your tax return. Five, can be costly. If you're not confident in handling the complex forms, you might need to hire a tax professional. This can be an extra cost, eating into the savings you get from itemizing. Comparison and decision-making. When deciding between the standard deduction and itemized deductions, it's like choosing between a quick, easy path and a potentially more rewarding but trickier trail. Here's how to compare and make the best decision for your taxes. One, check your expenses. Look at all your expenses that can be deducted. 
like mortgage interest, charity donations, and medical bills. If you've got a lot of these, add them up. Two, compare with the standard deduction. The standard deduction is a fixed amount that's easy to apply. Compare your total itemized deductions with this amount. If your itemized deductions are more, they might save you more on taxes. Three, think about time and effort. Itemizing takes more time and work. You need to have all your receipts and fill out more tax forms. If the difference between your itemized total and the standard deduction isn't huge, you might prefer the simplicity of the standard deduction. Four, consider your tax situation. Your personal or financial situation can affect your choice. For example, if you're a homeowner with significant mortgage interest and property taxes, itemizing could be more beneficial. Five, look at past and future years. Sometimes what you choose one year might change the next. If you had high medical expenses one year but not the next, itemizing might only make sense for that high expense year. Six, get professional advice if needed. If you're unsure, it might be worth getting advice from a tax professional. They can help you figure out which option saves you the most money. Here is a gift for you. We offer a free consultation with our expert tax professionals. To book your free session and gain valuable insights tailored to your situation, simply click the link in the video description. Don't miss this opportunity for expert guidance. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. It really supports the channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe for more clear and easy to understand tax tips. Share this video with friends or family who might also be grappling with their tax deductions. And if you have any questions, experiences, or tips about tax deductions, drop a comment below. We'd love to hear from you.